Hello YouTubers and uh, fellow vintage radio enthusiasts. Uh, this video is going to be of Arroyus 1-625 XL module. This is a 40 channel straight AM. Um, has the three backlit, uh, back, green backlit meters like the 640 and the 642. But this isn't only an AM model. Although the meter setup is the same as the the 640 I showed earlier. You've got uh, you got your center, you know, SWR calibration meter on the right is uh, your standing wave ratio, your actual reflected. Uh, far left is signal, you know, SRF. It is a uh, it is called an XL module because the internals of this radio are. The internals of this radio are kind of interesting for CBs. Uh, it has a main uh, has a main board that lays you know flat horizontal, but there's really not that much in the way of components on it. It has uh, three vertical boards, three module units that actually plug into large sockets. You know, half of the socket on the uh, horizontal board, and then the uh, then the female you know adapter socket is uh, built into the modules. It's, it's kind of unusual for CB radios. Uh, I only know of one other radio in my collection that has a setup like that, and it is a, uh, I think it's a Courier Conquer 40D. It's not the, I've never really looked at the schematic on those two radios. I don't believe they're the same. I don't think they use the same PLL chip, but internally they're, they are laid out quite similar, you know, in a general fashion, construction fashion anyways. Uh, this radio too has that I think it's like a clear plastic with a black backing I don't know don't know 100% that's what's going on you know to get that look but it's still it's beautiful the bottom trim on this one is a wood grain as you can see you know it has the uh, wood veneered sides and I'm missing a strip it's completely gone off on the front right front left side still there Although on the left, sometime long ago, somebody uh, somebody attached one of those mic hangers with screws. Overall, radio's in good condition. Everything functions on it. Um, the uh, the signal meter I need to calibrate, like many of my radios, I need to put it on the generator with the correct tone and uh, you know set to an S9, but. This one reads pretty pretty generous, actually extremely generous. Controls are basic. It is a straight AM. Still, even though this is a little later radio, the, I think the tag on the back of this one is uh, got a manufacturer date of February of 1977, but it still uses a large phone jack. It's got a push button power on off switch. Volume squelch, RF gain. It has a delta tune. And it is completely variable. It's not a not a three position deal. There's your uh, SSD SWR calibration knob, channel selector, has a bright dim. It's fairly dim, you know, on the dim. I, this is one of the one of those radios I tend to run tend to run it on bright. Uh, on the right, get off on channel 19 here. Typical TX light, uh, automatic noise limiter on and off. It has a high low tone. It's just a two, you know, two two settings. Uh, the the low is sounds a lot better. It's got a kind of a nice lower bassy tone to it. With it out, it's high pitched, and I, I really don't like it at all. At least why it's not on the internal speaker. And this is another one of those radios. The internal speaker is on the bottom. It's uh, on the the 640 I showed earlier, the 23 channel sidebander, it was on the bottom left if I remember correctly. This radio, I believe it's on the bottom right is where the speaker is. Something Royce, uh, and a lot of Royce radios, on the base radios seem to have anyways. Um, nothing, nothing really spectacular about the radio. It, it has a pretty good receiver. I, I like the tone of it. I've been told on the air, you know, with... Uh, I believe all I've run is this SVE mic and a uh, Turner Super Sidekick on it. And I think it, if I remember correctly, I haven't run this radio in a while. It sounded, you know, I got good reports with either microphone. Uh, everything does function on it. 
memory serves me correctly, I think somebody did do a slight tune-up job on it years ago, but I, I might be wrong about that. I didn't test it, you know, on, on my Palstar meter before, uh, before I started shooting video to, to verify, you know, what kind of output numbers it has, but it's basically typical, you know, the best of my memory, it's, it's typical standard radio type output. Some about these Royces, I think it's the, I think it's the, the, uh, I think it's the clear plastic with the black backing, you know, kind of glass looking front and them green backlit meters. I just, something about these radios that really, I'm really drawn to them, you know, not only are they good looking, but really they, they do perform well. I, I really can't complain, you know, with how, with how these old Royce radios, uh, with how these old Royce radios perform. Anyways, I think I've pretty much covered everything on this one. Again, it's a uh, 1-625 Royce XL module. It's nothing. It's not rare. These are these can be commonly found on eBay. Apparently, they made these in large quantities. If you wanted to pick one up, yeah, I think you can generally get these in the uh, anywhere from about 45 to uh, anywhere from 45 75 dollars on eBay is what I see them go for. Before you factor in shipping, it kind of depends on the condition and the time of year. Summertime, you stand a better chance of getting a better deal on one. Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, 73's, this is uh, Operator Paul, known as 262. I'll be signing off.